Why it sucks to be born as a queen ant? You break out of your egg and boom. Welcome to royalty. It's pitch black. You're soft, blind, wrinkly, and you're lying in a pile of baby siblings that look like dropped noodles, except some of them are already being eaten. You can't scream. You don't even have a mouth yet. All you can do is wiggle and pray the next worker ant that walks by doesn't confuse you with a snack. Then it happens. She stops. You're expecting teeth. But instead, she feeds you. And not just crumbs. Royal jelly. You don't know what it is, but it tastes like destiny and protein powder. And suddenly, you're different. You start to swell. Grow. Your body's changing like you just hit puberty at three hours old. Around you, other larvae aren't so lucky. You? You just got invited to the crown club. Unless, another queen hatches tomorrow. Then things are gonna get violent. Fast. You wake up, and your body isn't yours anymore. Your mouth? M-I-A. Everything's locked in place like you just got shrink-wrapped by anxiety itself. You're in the pupa stage now a.k.a. ant puberty, but with more silence and no privacy. Inside, you're liquefying. That soft blob of a body you had, it's melting like expired jello. Your insides are rebooting, building something stronger. Wings, muscles, a jawline that could win arguments. And you? You just float there, fully conscious, stuck in your own transformation like a hostage inside a makeover montage. You want to scratch your face. You don't have hands. You want to scream. You don't have a mouth. You just sit there, marinating in potential and panic. And the worst part? You're not alone. Other pupae are next to you. Some queens, some future nobodies. And if the workers don't like how you're developing, they'll eat you. No vote, no second chance, just crunch. You're becoming royalty. But first, you gotta survive and puberty. You're fresh out the pupa. New wings, new jaw, same anxiety. Your body's barely dry when the signal hits. It's mating day. You feel it in your antennae like a group chat ping from the universe. This is it. Your one chance to fly, mate, and maybe not get your head ripped off. You take off. Thousands of others rise with you, filling the sky like a glitch in the matrix. It's chaos. Wings crash. Ants scream. Somewhere... Barry White is spiritually playing. And then, contact. A male latches onto you midair. It's not sexy. It's like being rear-ended by a drone. He does his thing in seconds, classic, explodes, literally, and drops like a hot potato. Romantic, right? You don't stop. You need more. You collect sperm like it's Pokemon cards. You'll need enough to last a lifetime. But the more you fly, the fewer males there are. Then you see her. Another queen. Same size. Same fire in her eyes. There's only room for one. No small talk. No warning. You both lunge. Fangs out. Wings slashing. It's like a knife fight in a wind tunnel. You catch her mid-turn, sink your jaws into her thorax, and rip. She twitches once, then stills. You land, breathless heart thumping. Your wings? Useless now. You tear them off like ruined party decorations. You're not here to fly anymore. You're here to build an empire. You just watched a royal death match midair. And the winner? She's about to disappear underground and start laying eggs like a biological machine. Want to see how one queen builds an empire out of dirt, darkness, and sheer insanity? Hit that subscribe button before the next ant war begins. You're alone, covered in dirt, bleeding from your last sky battle and half blind in the dark. You dig, not because you want to, but because if you don't, you'll die. No food, no allies, no backup plan. Just you, wet soil, and your stupid royal destiny. The tunnel's tight, claustrophobic. You're chewing mud to make space for your face. Each inch forward feels like a funeral crawl. This is your kingdom now, silent, cold, and one bad day away from collapse. You finally reach a pocket of space, just big enough to curl up. You sit there, shaking. Your abdomen pulses. You drop your first egg. 
then another, then ten more. Then you realize it won't stop. You're a machine now. Each egg sucks the life out of you, but you can't stop. Because the second you do, this whole empire dies with you. There's no crown, no throne, just wet tunnels and the sound of your own breath echoing off the dirt. This is royalty, ant edition. You've made it. That pathetic dirt pocket you first crawled into? Now it's an empire. Dozens of tunnels, multiple chambers, traffic lanes, food storage, even a garbage pit. All dug by your kids. All for you. You're not just a queen. You're a full-blown biological dictator. You lie in your dark chamber, surrounded by servants. They clean you. Feed you. Remove your poop before it hits the ground. You haven't moved in weeks, and you don't need to. You lay eggs. Thousands of them. Your butt is basically a non-stop baby cannon. And for what? You never leave. You never fight. You don't even know if the sun still exists. But none of that matters. Because you are the colony. Flood in Tunnel 3? They handle it. Fungus outbreak? Cut and burn. Giant centipede invades? Ten soldiers swarm it, die dramatically and take it down. You don't even flinch. Upstairs, predators dig, rain pours, humans stomp, but none of it touches you. You're buried in power. And the best part? You don't raise your kids. You don't even meet them. You just drop the eggs and vibe. Long live the queen, who hasn't stood up in six months, fifteen years in. You're royalty now. Your tunnels run deep. Your army is massive. Your poop removal team is elite. And today? Today is perfect. You're sipping sweet insect juice from a leaf cup, lying on your side like a powdered Victorian duchess. Around you, the scent of freshly harvested fungus. Your mandibles twitch in satisfaction. A worker brushes your antenna. Two larvae nap nearby. You don't even remember laying them, but sure, they're cute. Outside, kids are playing, young workers chasing each other in the corridor. It's adorable. Life is good. Scratch that. Life is glorious. And then, crunch. A shadow. A rumble. The roof caves in like a bad joke. A rock the size of your whole chamber drops through the ceiling. You don't scream. You don't even have time. One second you're royalty. The next? You're a stain. Some human above ground probably tripped on the hill, kicked a loose rock and went about their day. Never realizing they just ended a dynasty. No dramatic music. No final words. Just dirt. And silence. Long live the Qui. Never mind. Want to know which poor creature gets slapped by evolution next? Click the next video. Trust me, it's somehow even worse.